Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we are gonna look at the most hype beast mod ever. It is the Supreme Brick. Now, with this mod, the camera doesn't actually follow the prop for some reason. So it looks like I'm the truck, but I'm actually the brick. And if I try to move the camera, it doesn't move. So we're gonna separate the camera from the vehicle. It spins around sometimes. But now we can take a nice close look at this brick. So on one side we have the Supreme logo, on the other side it is blank. So we can go ahead and tip it onto its side so we can really clearly see Supreme. How zoomed in can we get? Let's see, a little closer. Yeah, that is as close as we can get. And that is a Supreme brick. And this brick is crazy detailed. To show you an example of how detailed this is, I'm gonna get a regular brick that comes with the cinder block wall. And then we're going to just put that brick right next to the Supreme one without hopefully tipping over the wall. That would be a good challenge right there. Try to take the bricks off without making the wall fall over. I succeeded. So now we get real close to this brick, right? It, it just kind of looks blurry. You can tell the texture is not nearly as high quality as the Supreme brick with its supremely high quality textures. This texture is so high quality I can feel the texture of the brick with my mouse cursor. So now we got to answer the question. What do you do with a Supreme Brick? Well, if you wanted to buy one in real life, it would cost about $200. So this brick is so fancy, I would not put it in the bed of my truck. I would put this thing in the passenger seat of the truck next to me because it's that valuable. If you had a bed full of bricks, they were all Supreme Bricks, you'd basically be a millionaire at that point. Thankfully, we're in a video game and this brick is basically free. So, we can do regular brick things with it like smashing it into the truck and seeing if it causes any damage. At 20% no grabber strength, it is doing a little bit of damage, but I want lots of damage. So I'll up the strength to 70% and now we can annihilate truck with my super strong supreme brick. Oh goodness. The only hard part is making sure the truck stays in the camera turn the engine off so we don't destroy it completely while it's upside down. I want to try to be able to drive it after it's messed up. So how about this? Can we flip the truck right side up using my Supreme brick? Heck yes I can. The answer is how easy is it? And the answer is super easy. If I was using a regular brick, it would not have been that easy. Let's damage it up a little bit more. There we go. Tire is deflated. That's okay. Yep, this is fine. This is fine. My truck is okay with this. Front drive shaft broken. That is not fine. All right, we still have the rear drive shaft though, so we still still be able to drive. Let's get this thing upright and try to drive it. Whoa! Come on, Supreme Brick, flip! Yes, no! Come on! Oh! Thank goodness we have the engine off. Otherwise, this thing would have been starved of oil and died by now. All right, truck is good to go. Supreme Brick did his job, and just for fun, let's put the Supreme Brick right into the bed of the truck. Just gotta make sure I don't shoot it away by having too much no grabber strength. There we go. So how did Supreme Brick fare in all this, actually? Uh, not so well. He got messed up, man. My poor brick. It's not worthless, basically. That's a shame. That brick used to be worth $200. All right, come on. Oh, no. I unfortunately cannot start this truck. The fuel tank is empty, so I guess I just ruptured the fuel tank so bad that there's just no fuel left. That is unfortunate. Next up, how about we try dropping the brick onto the truck from way up in the air. So we're gonna go all the way up to, well, the truck's a spec now, so that should be pretty good. And the brick should be coming down at any moment. Hopefully it actually hits the truck and it did perfectly. That could not have been lined up any better. Let's do it again. One more hit and it'll hopefully hit the exact same spot. So this time we can just watch right on the roof. Here comes the brick. Oh, that was nice. And where did the brick go? There, he ended up on the roof. Trying to get away, huh? That's right, you come back down. Where you going, Bricky? Bouncing around. This brick does bounce around a lot. Made out a little bit out of rubber. Oh no, it's a knockoff Supreme brick. The real ones are made out of clay. This one can't be made out of clay the way it's bouncing. It's a rubber brick. I got ripped off and I paid $200 for this brick. Oh no. Oh well, we can still destroy stuff with it. Like so. Look at it bouncing, man. It's gone. It's just taking off, huh? Yep. Get back over there and smush that truck. It's actually pretty good for only uh, three drops. That roof is mighty caved in. We can actually back up the truck a little bit to cave in the front as well if we wanted to. 
Let's go just about there. Should probably be good. The problem here is the weight, though. You see how long it takes for the brick to get down here? It just takes too long. So, we're going to make things a little bit more dramatic really, really fast. We're going to go ahead and freeze physics, reset the brick, and then we got to find it in the air because I can't just go to the brick and become the brick because the camera won't move with the brick as you already saw earlier. So there is the brick. We're going to go into the map editor, and then we're just going to copy and paste the brick a bunch of times and make a stack of bricks that we could drop like 10 bricks all at once, which will save us a lot of time. I want to be all perfectly lined up, so we got to make sure we only move them vertically. So that is six bricks. If we copy and paste all these, we'll have a dozen bricks falling straight on to the truck. There we go. This will work great. <laughs> now I got to go back to the truck. And the, the problem here, though, is if we want to reset this, we got to reset 12 bricks. Here we go, though. They're going to be hitting at any moment. Bricks! <laughs> that was great. They actually came a lot harder than I expected. Hey, I even caught like half of them in the bed of the truck. Nice. All right, now we're going to reset everything. By the way, the hotkey for that is Shift-R. I don't know if that's a really well-known hotkey, but yeah, you can hit Shift-R and it resets everything. Oh, uh, most of the bricks actually missed. Well, I wonder how much damage the bricks will do if you actually catch them in the bed of the truck instead of like hitting the roof. So that should be pretty good for catching them. Let's see. Hey, that's the strong durability of a gravel truck. It caught the bricks in it. Doesn't look damaged really at all. It seemed like it did perfectly well. And then we can do the opposite. Instead of, you know, catching them properly, we can see, do we destroy the engine by hitting the engine? Ah, oh, the engine's pretty durable, ain't it? Let's keep dropping bricks on the engine. I think one or two more runs will destroy it, but that means I have to reset each brick one at a time. Or, with the magic of laziness, BAM! Every brick has now been reset, and they should be approaching the truck. And they should be making impact about now! All right, it's a little bit more damaged, but the truck will still drive. So let's go for round three. And I feel like if it doesn't break in in round three, the bricks aren't strong enough. So let's see, bricks, can you do it? No, the bricks are just too weak to completely cave in the hood and actually cause damage to the engine block itself. I'll give it one more try just to be 100% certain though. So here is the final chance for the bricks to immobilize the truck. Come on, bricks. Nah, it didn't even change. It's the same damage as it was before. Oh, well. Now let's just crush the roof in again, because that's the fun part. Maybe we'll get a regular car and crush its roof in, too. I like just dropping the bricks on things like that. Just the chain of bricks. It does some beautiful damage to vehicles. I love it. All right, so real quickly, let's get a Ibishu Covet. Hopefully, it doesn't change the position too much, and it still hits right in the middle-ish. Oh, we're hitting the back corner. And it did some serious damage there. Now let's try to like line this up so it'll hit right in the middle. I like hitting in the middle because then you kind of get like the bathtub look. Yes! Look at how strong the roof is! Honestly, if I look at this roof, I can barely even tell it's caved in compared to when it hit the corner. It just looked annihilated. We got to give this another go, but I have a feeling the bricks hitting the car probably shifted the location a little bit, so they're not going to hit dead center. Nope. They hit right in the corner again. And you can tell when it hits the corner, that's when the roof will really cave in. But when it hits in the middle, you have all four corners holding up the weight of the bricks, which make it hold up really well. But if you hit the corner, it's one corner of the bricks, and that doesn't hold up at all. So let's finish this car off. Yep, front right axle broken. It can no longer do anything. And now I want to transport a load of bricks, which is going to require a lot of copy paste in the map editor. So here's one more thing and then I'll be back once the bricks are set up. And here we have a beautiful setup of bricks inside of a pigeon. They're floating in the air currently and now they're inside of the pigeon. And probably the bricks in the bed of this thing are more valuable than the vehicle itself would be. So we're gonna drive around and see just how well they'll stay in the back. I'm gonna drive aggressive and I want them to fall out. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I did not expect it to do it that fast. Let's uh, try that again. I think we can clear that. We just got really unlucky with the way the suspension bounced or something. All right, we already lost the brick this time, so that's not good. The oh, no. Okay, well, that is really weird. What is actually happening there? Something strange is going on on that lip. Alright, uh, we're bringing in the slow-mo here, two times, four times, 
eight times slow mo, and we're just gonna watch. 16 clears it fine. Rear end clears it, and then like the bed makes contact, and it just explodes. Bricks going everywhere. Like it literally explodes. That was a 16 times slow mo, and it just vanished on me. How weird. So it looks like though. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Let's reset this again. Nope, it is permanently invisible. Some parts of the pigeon. That is great. I think the J-beam is still there though, so yeah. Nothing will fall out through the invisible bits. But the solution to this should be very simple. We just go a little bit slower over the bump, right? Yeah, nice and easy. Didn't even think about it when you we were going back down the bump. That could have been bad. So I wonder if it's just that spot was causing something weird to happen or if it's any time the back will bottom out and like, I don't know what was causing that. That is really weird. I just tipped over all my bricks. I was so distracted thinking about other things that I kind of forgot that, yeah, I have a bunch of bricks in here and it's going to tip over really easily. But we're going to keep driving this thing around because it's amusing to me watching the bricks just bounce all over the place. Like, it looks like popcorn sometimes where it's just popping up into the air. Like, why does it do that? I don't know. I think two bricks just kind of get intersected somehow and the physics freak out so they pop up in the air like popcorn. Let's see if any will happen intentionally when we hit the bump here. Yep, there goes one just popped out. There you go, popcorn time! <laughs> so weird. So we can totally drive around with the bricks. We'll lose them very slowly and gradually. Eventually we would run out of bricks or we could tip it over and drop them all at once like I did earlier. How about a crash? What happens when we have all these bricks in the back with the big crash? I'm gonna use 16 times slow-mo again. And oh, look at that damage in the rear of the cab. That thing is hurting. And we have drivability still, but I don't think we have any steering. And we've literally lost like thousands of dollars of bricks all over the floor. Thousands of dollars of bricks all on the floor and I got no steering. All right, let's try a vehicle that's a little bit better at carrying bricks. We're just gonna go with a D-Series here, but I'm gonna get one with a smaller bed. We're gonna get one of these step side ones like the D-15 Street Tuned. And let's see, do the bricks line up still? No, the bricks are misaligned. So to fix that, we can just pop into the editor and then we move the truck's position. Although I'm selecting this other thing. Get out of here. I wanna select the truck and then we just try to center it with the bricks. And kinda hard to do because we can't actually see the bricks. Like. Is that centered? I don't know. That looks centered from this camera angle, but from other ones, it won't be. Okay! What just happened there? It does it every time! I just accidentally made an explosive using bricks and a truck. Every time, it's just gonna explode. Okay. Uh, we need to figure this out. What's happening here? It's just kind of glitching and exploding. There's really not much to say. The pieces are intersecting, and it doesn't like that, so it just explodes. The bricks are really explosive right now. Let's see, if we take a closer look at the inside, okay, you can see, so they're intersecting with the right side and that's what's causing the explosion. So if we just go and move the truck a little bit over to the right, that should fix it. Although it's hard to click this without clicking any of the bricks. And let's see, is this better? There we go, okay. And if we reset, it still works fine, all right. Nothing else to worry about. Just don't accidentally intersect your bricks and you'll be good. Also, we didn't get stuck on the lip, that was nice. But now I wanna lose the bricks as fast as I can and that's a great way to do it. Losing the tailgate and it's just dumping the bricks out. We got like three left, come on. One last brick and we have lost all of them. Bye bye, all right. That was actually really, really fast. We can try to like find them as we go back and backtrack so there's no one we just dropped. And looking around, we haven't dropped any around here. There's a bunch right there. There's a bunch just everywhere here. Literally $100 bills on the floor scattered everywhere. That's what these bricks are. Assuming falling out of the truck didn't damage them where they lose all their value. Now, let's try this with another vehicle. We're just going to throw a SBR4 and see, does it explode? Reset the bricks and no, it didn't explode. It's perfectly fine. So only some vehicles like to explode. Oh, we just dropped a brick and you can see them inside the car. They are there. I was trying to look at them while I drived here. We'll just stop and then look and you can see there's some on the floor back by the, the seats in the rear. There's a couple in the engine bay. So the bricks are in this thing, just as many as the pigeon was carrying. And can we feel it when we drive? Oh yeah, you can feel the extra weight. 
this thing just kind of feels clunky and accelerates a little bit slower so this thing worked decently well for carrying bricks oh it just pooped a couple out I think that's what it's gonna do. It's just gonna poop them out when you do any sort of aggressive maneuver. Just like, boop, there goes another one. Boop, there goes another one. It's like, you're all out of bricks to poop. Oh, well, the steering is so bad with all this extra weight. Why did I put bricks in SBR4? Who does this? Who takes a sports car and carries bricks in it? Doesn't even make sense. Did we poop a couple out from that impact? Yep, at least one has fallen out. All right, let's do another one up here. Crash. And then probably cough up another. See, this one's coughed up because it came out the front, not pooped. Oh, we're stuck. Come on, off of there. So is there another brick? Uh, yeah, there's a brick. It coughed that one out. And keep on driving, although, yeah, steering's kind of ruined. We can't really steer, so we are done with the bricks here. Now it's time for some stupidity. We're gonna bring this to Leap of Death and throw the brick off of Leap of Death. Now, obviously we can't drive the brick down this thing, but here's the thing you didn't think about. We also can't just drop it because the camera won't follow the brick. I have to follow it manually, which is gonna suck to have to do. And it looks like the camera's actually working for the brick, right? That's until it flips or rotates or anything like that. And then you just have complete chaos. Also, I didn't actually test it, but yeah, sometimes the camera works for the brick, sometimes it doesn't. I think it has to do with if you hit spawn new or replace current. If you hit spawn new, then the camera doesn't work, and if you hit replace current, it does work. I didn't really test it out too much, because for the most part, there was never really a situation where I felt like I actually needed the camera attached to the brick. The only time it would have been useful in this video was just when I was trying to find the brick that was floating in the air, but even that only took a couple of seconds, so it just wasn't really necessary for the video. Anyways, we're going to let this brick fall to the bottom, and that's going to do it for this video. This is falling at half speed, just so I can track it a little bit easier. Don't forget that. And until next time, this is YBR. And remember, if you like or dislike this video, I'll know. I can tell by watching how the brick bounces. So do the right thing, and I'll see you next time.